Hello everyone, this is Afsha from 3D Fashion Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to create and style a bow in Browseware V-Stitcher. I've seen very complicated methods being used for this one and the secret is to keep it simple. It's a very straightforward tutorial, so let's get right into it. I'm sure you recognize this swimsuit from our last tutorial. The first step we're going to do is clone the body fabric and double the physics to apply to the straps. Make sure to update the name of the material and then we'll apply it to our strap pieces and update the simulation. Next, with the insert rectangle tool, I'm going to create the first pattern piece, which is the knot. We're going to make it about half an inch wide, and the height will be the same width as the strap, which is 3 eighths of an inch. Apply the double material to it. We're going to create those internal lines on the strap to stitch the knot to. And you'll notice that I'm creating them pretty close to each other because I want the knot to stick out. And it might be a good thing to add symmetry in all of your strap pieces so you can do half the amount of stitching. Now I'm going to arrange the pattern piece after I update the grid. For a knot piece, you want to make it pretty small, so 0.3 should work. And we update the grid and the um, layer order, I mean, and then update the simulation. So I want it to stick out a little bit more, and I'm good that, for that I'm going to adjust the width from 0.5 to 0.7. That looks good, and now we want to create the other strap pieces that will be hanging. And those pattern pieces, I want to make them 3 eighths of an inch wide and in height 6 inches. We'll create symmetry for that piece, apply the double physics. Update the grid, keep the layer order at 2, arrange them on the back again, and then we'll go ahead and stitch them to the bottom edge of the strap. And you'll notice I'm making my stitch pretty small because I want to make it look like it's coming out of that knot. Then we're going to add in our final pieces for the bow. For those I'm going to create them 7 inches in height. Update the grid of it and the layer order. So we want these to be sitting on the highest layer. Create symmetry. And then we're going to create some additional internal lines to stitch them to because we don't want to stitch them to the same line that the knot is stitched to. That might cause a lot of collision issues. We're going to stitch the both ends of the loop together. Stitch to the internal line we just created. Arrange the pieces. And update the simulation. So when you first simulate, they're not going to fall exactly where you want them to go. So with the styling pinch tool in focus mode, I'm going in here and I'm making sure I'm straightening out those bow pieces. 
and I usually reduce my radius to 0.4 so I'm able to grab on a smaller area. And I want to make sure my bow does not look twisted at all. So I'm spending a little bit extra time to make sure that the styling of it looks good. So this piece, we've got it to where we want it. I'm going to brush select and hold because we don't want it to continue moving around. And we're going to do the same thing with the other side. And then the hanging straps, do the same thing. Place them where you would like them to go and use some hold to keep them in place. Now the final step I want to do is select all of my bow pieces. In the context menu, I'm going to go to the line section and under stitch construction, change it all to directional. That will give the edges a little bit more depth. And there is our bow. We've reached the end of this tutorial. Remember that 3D Fashion Solutions is here to guide your brand through its digital product development journey. Visit our website 3dfashionsolutions.com to see some of the services that we offer and schedule a free consultation meeting. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.